<clears throat> All right, I'm going to make this video for uh, the students in Miss Anslow's class. They've been asking me this for a while. Um, this is for grade seven. So um, what we're looking at here, um, we're looking at perimeter and area. Um, so I want to do, you know, like if you were to look at, you know, if you had a rectangle here, you know, and let's say it's, you know, three centimeters uh, by five centimeters. Um, well, you know, if it's a rectangle, the opposite sides are going to be congruent. Um, so, like that. So if you're looking at perimeter, perimeter is just the distance around. Okay. So the perimeter, you just add up all the sides. <clears throat> and with that, you would get, you know, 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3. Okay. You could do 2 times the length plus 2 times the width if you wanted to, but I find this way just as easy. 16 centimeters. Pretty simple. Okay. Now, where, where does area come from? Area talks about, you know, what, what you have inside, okay? So what, what you're talking about here is, you know, and this is important, like you ever want to find the surface area of like a room that you're painting or something like that, <clears throat> you know, this, this comes in handy. So this is what uh, area is, is if you were to make these boxes, if you count these boxes, it's, uh, there's 15 of them. So the area you know, here is, you know, the shortcut really is, is base times height. So it's 3 times 5 equals 15 centimeters square. Now, why is it square? Because you got your little squares here. It's two-dimensional, okay, as opposed to, you know, if we went to volume, which, you know, I can do in another video like this, um, then you're getting into three dimensions, and that would be centimeters cubed, okay? Um, but that, you know, that's, that's what it is for, for now. Obviously, most kids know that. They've seen that early on in, in, you know, very early years. So let's get on to some composite figures and see what's going on there. Okay, so let's look at one right here. It says, find the areas of the fallen shaded region. So in the next couple of problems, I'm just going to find the area of this, the, uh, the shaded regions. Now, the shaded region here is the blue area, okay? Now, the thing with this, it, it can be a little tricky, I guess. Um, you just have to kind of come up with a strategy. If, if you looked at this whole big rectangle here, um, you know, if we just looked, you know, at all this right here on, whoops, that's not the greatest thing in the world, but, um, you know, that's 9 times 12 centimeters, which is 108 centimeters squared. Okay, now, if we want the shade area, all we really have to do is subtract this out. Well, this is going to be 3 times 6, which is 18. So, you know... 3 times 6 is 18 centimeters squared, you know. So if we wanted to find the area of the shade area, we just, we'd need to subtract those because we're taking this away. So, you know, 108 minus 18 would be 90 centimeters squared. So that would be your answer for that one. Pretty straightforward. Um, and we'll move on to a couple other ones, but, you know, there you go. Um, just, you just, you kind of got to go, these aren't that bad. You just have to come up with some strategy for them. And let's do a couple more. Okay, so now let's, let's look at another one here. Now, this one's a little bit different, okay? So first thing you got to take out of here is anytime you're doing some of these problems and you see these little lines, that means that everything there is 2 because they're all, that means that they're the same. Okay, so we have 7 on this side, and we have, you know, if we're going to look at a total side, what I would do, the strategy I would make for, for this one, and there's two ways to do it. Um, and I'll, I'll do it both ways. The first way is, you know, you can just complete this rectangle here. Okay, like this. All right, so this would be, you know, this is 2 because, you know, it's across from there, and this is 2. So if we were going to do the whole thing, it would be 7 times, you know, 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. So it would be 7 times 6, which is, you know, 42 meters squared. And then you just subtract the areas of these two, these two um, squares right here. So, that, you know, this would be what? 2 times 2. So this would be 4, and this would be 2 times 2, which would be 4. So, you know, uh, 4 times 2 is 8, you know, meters squared, okay? And then you just subtract those. So it would be 34 meters squared. Now, there's also another way to do this. Sometimes uh, this is a little more effective. I don't know if it will be in this one or not, but you can actually, you know, just separate the... If you don't... If you can't see that you can subtract these two little squares away from the whole rectangle, um, what you can do here is you can just make, you know, three figures. Okay, that's one way to do it. So, you know, so if this is 7, that's 7. Okay, this is 2, so that's 2. You know, that's 2. Um, now, the the trick for to this one would be, well, 
you know, if this is 2 right here and this is 2 right here, what's this length right here? Well, we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so 7 times um, 2, you know, this would be 14. 7 times 2, this would be 14. Now here, um, what is this length going to be? Well, it's 2, it's 2. It has, it's the same length as this 7 right here, and it's 2 and 2, so this has to be 3. Okay, because so, 2 plus 3 plus, and so all you have to do here is, you know, do uh, 2 times 3, and you would get 6. Now, if you added that up, 14 plus 14 plus 6, you would get 34 meters squared. So that's another way to do it. I mean, that's the way, honestly, I do it most of the time, but some kids kind of have trouble finding out, um, you know, how much this is right here. But if, that, if that's not a big deal for you, you might want to try it this way. Or, like I said, you can subtract it, make a whole figure, and then subtract from it. Either way. All right, let's try another one. Okay, this one's a little trickier because it has um, triangles in it, okay? So, look, they've already kind of outlined the whole um, whole rectangle for you here. Like, if you see these dotted lines, you have the rectangle. So, this side would be 4 plus 5, which is 9, and this side would be 3 plus 2, which is 5. So, you know, if you just did, you know, 9 times 5, you would get 45 uh, meters squared. Okay, that's the whole, but we need to take out these triangles. Now, kids always forget, you know, oh, well, what's, what's the, the formula for an area of a triangle? Well, think about this, okay? If you have a rectangle, you know, and you have your length times width, or you can even call it, you know, your base times height, okay? What is a triangle? Well, a triangle really is just going to be half of this, and that's where you come up with your formula. If you're going to find the area, it's going to be half, you know, base times height or, you know, base times height divided by 2, okay? So that's your, your formula for your areas of triangle. So always think of it in this terms, like what are you doing? You're finding half the area of a rectangle if you have the base and the height, okay? So what they have here is, you know, this 1 right here, this 1 is 3, and since that has 2, this is 4, okay? Well, then we have our base and our height here, so we can just do, you know, 3 times 4 divided by 2, which is going to be, what, 12 divided by 2, which is 6. So this area is going to be 6. Well, this one's going to be exact same. Okay, so all we have to do now, those would be 6 plus 6, which would be 12. So, you know, 6 times 2 is 12. Okay, so all we have to do now is just subtract those, and we find the area, the blue area, so the shaded area. So that would be 33 meters squared. Um, is there a different way to do that? Eh, that's probably the only way, good way to do that one. Um, so hopefully, you know, the only thing here is, that's a little different is you have to use the area of a triangle. And the last one I'll do here is just, it's just a, a bit different is, um, you know, th this is a composite figure where, I, again, we could subtract triangles here, but here it would be easier to add the two figures together. So again, like I talked about two different strategies here, you know, take the whole rectangle and subtract or add figures together. In this case, I would add figures together. So to get this rectangle here, the area of the rectangle, we just do 6 times 3, which is 18, right? Now, we need the area of this, this triangle. Well, you know, they tell us that the height is 2, okay? And then they, this, you know, right here is 6, okay? No problem. So we just, you know, remember that area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So it would be, you know, 2 times 6 divided by 2, which is just 6. So if we, we just found the area of that, so we just do, you know, 18 meters squared, which is the area of the rectangle right here, plus 6 meters squared, which is the area of the triangle right here, and that would be 24 meters squared. And you're good to go. Boom, boom. Okay, so anyway, um, composite figures can be a little tricky, but, it, it, you know, if you if you know your, your rules, base sums height and, you know, for triangles, half base some type, and you did, you just come up with a plan for it. You should be good to go. So hope this helped you out. Uh, again, saying hi to Hand Hamza, all you guys. Uh, hope this helps out for you. Take it easy. Late.